What is the Antiquities Act of 1906? Ah, the Antiquities Act of 1906. So we have arrived at the beginning of laws in archaeology. The Antiquities Act is known as the first one. So when in doubt, you're like, what did the Antiquities Act do? It was the first one. It ain't going to be perfect. There's going to be some holes in it, but it's super important in archaeology in terms of it beginning this trend in the United States of protection of archaeological artifacts. So it comes in in 1906, which means in 1905 and before, you could just loot. You could just take your shovel to an archaeological site and dig on in and take whatever you want. There is no law against it. You are not going to jail. You are not paying a fine. And it had gotten so bad in the United States, and this is at the end of the 1800s, you know, 1880s, 1890s, certain archeological sites were being so desecrated that actually there's kind of this groundswell movement to have a law like this in place. You really saw it, it really came to a head in like the desert southwest in the United States, right? Sites like Chaco Canyon, Mesa Verde, just being brutalized. So luckily in 1906, they finally got it together under President Teddy Roosevelt. Now, Teddy Roosevelt being an outdoorsy type of dude was really into this thing. What does this act do specifically? So it protects archaeological resources on federal lands. Remember that, you guys. It's only federal land. So this has nothing to do with private property or any of that kind of stuff. There's kind of these basic protections of archaeological sites on federal lands, which honestly, over the years, there wasn't that much to it. That wasn't the core of the Antiquities Act. What really makes this thing stand out is it enabled the president to assign national monuments across the United States. Now, these had to be on lands that were already federal lands, right? But the president, with the stroke of his pen, could assign this many acres as a national monument. And what that would do would be to give that area extra protection. That's what really mattered. And Roosevelt, as this outdoorsy type A guy, did a bunch of these while he was in office. I believe it was 18. The first one was Devil's Tower in Wyoming. But after that, you have a lot of famous ones. Lassen Park in California and the Big Mama, uh, the Grand Canyon. Now, important part here is that the Antiquities Act does not establish national parks. Okay, these are national monuments. National parks are a different thing. National parks have more protection still. So often though, national monuments become a first step to becoming a national park later, but it's not automatic. I will say when I was a kid, um, Death Valley in California, Death Valley used to be Death Valley National Monument, but I believe in the 90s, it became Death Valley National Park. So that can happen, but it's not for sure. Now, what did this law do in terms of uh, trying to strike back against looting? Like I said, not a whole hell of a lot. I believe legally it was like, you're going to go to jail for several days and pay $500. I think it really was $500. I mean, it might as well have been, you know, and you know what's a mule? And it was like that for the better part of a century. I think in the 80s, they bumped it up to five grand or something. The honest part is looters almost never were getting um, prosecuted under this. Looters would be caught, but the the regulations just didn't do much in that world. This is really much more about the president's power to create national monuments, something that's uh, gone under fire in the last handful of years. It's funny when an old law that's over 100 years old gets like front page news, like 
down with the Antiquities Act. Some people were angry that President Obama did bear's ears under the National Monument, right, right under the National, the Antiquities Act of 1906. Um, but the law is still around and it, it has dealt with the slings and arrows over time. It's a great law. I'm so glad that our country has this and the president has the ability to set these federal lands aside for extra protection. The, uh, in terms of dealing with looters, in 1979, a new law comes in called the Archaeological Resources Protection Act, which takes that side and runs with it. So the Antiquities Act doesn't have to deal with that anymore. But anyway, that's what you get with the Antiquities Act. That is largely why you have places like the Grand Canyon, right? Again, started as a national monument. Many people pissed at the Grand Canyon being a national monument at, at in the beginning. Can you imagine that? I mean, how many people in Arizona are pissed at the uh, tourist bonanza called the Grand Canyon and how much money that brings the state, right? Overall, these national monuments are very, very popular throughout America. I think they have like an 80 plus percent uh, rate of popularity in terms of you ask voters, should there be national monuments or, or not? Overwhelmingly positive. So I'm glad we have it. We should keep it. That's what the Antiquities Act does. Catch you next time.